Hello, welcome to Wayfaring Knitter. I'm Sophia and I am so glad you're here. So with Valentine's Day just a week away, I thought that today I would show you how to make an adorable little knitted heart. I got permission from the pattern designer to share this pattern here and the method for making this. Thank you, Teresa. Um, I will link the pattern in the description box below. So you'll need um, some yarn, three double pointed needles. I think these are a size seven and the yarn is worsted weight. Also a little um, removable stitch marker would be helpful. Not totally necessary, but helpful. And a darning needle with just a little bit of um, waste yarn attached to that. So if you've got all of that, um, I can show you how to do this. You should be comfortable with doing Judy's Magic Cast On or another um, small circumference seamless cast on method. Um, you could do the figure eight if you're more comfortable with that. Um, and you also need to know how to graft. But I will go through all of that. If you don't know, that's fine. Just rewind the video and learn along with me. Okay, so the pattern says to cast on four stitches using the figure eight cast on, which you are welcome to use if you like that. I prefer Judy's Magic Cast On, so I'm gonna show that here. So I've got um, two double pointed needles in my right hand and a length of yarn in my left hand. I'm going to come in between these needles and around the top one. And I'm going to cross the yarn underneath I'm grabbing the tail yarn with my index finger and the yarn that's attached to the ball with my thumb. See how they're crossed underneath? And the yarn that's over my index finger is going to come around the bottom needle and over it. The yarn that's on my thumb, I'm pivoting my hand, is going to go in between and over the top needle. And the yarn that's here on my index finger around the bottom needle and in between. So I've got my four stitches cast on there. I'm gonna hold everything still. And I'm just gonna make sort of a little knot here. I'm not gonna pull it very tight. I just don't want these stitches going anywhere. So there's that going to turn my work, grab that extra needle there. So knitting the first round, I'm going to do these two stitches here. And I'm going to turn my work around. And knit this side of it. So this is one round, whoopsie, come back. One round completed. And the next round, I always turn, is going to be, it says KFB each stitch, which means you knit in the front and the back of each stitch. So here we are with the front of the stitch, keeping the yarn on the needle and coming to knit the back part of it. So that increases by one. So you made two out of one there. And so we're going to KFB again. So there's K, F, and B. So now I have four stitches on that needle where there was two. Turn my work, do the same thing to the other side. And 
it in the front and in the back. And then one more time. And now I have eight stitches. Turn work. So what I'm going to do now is put this little removable stitch marker down at the bottom on this first side so that I remember that this is the first side. And now the pattern says to knit one round. So I'm going to stick with my right hand. It's a habit for me to reach for the yarn with my left. But I feel like it's more common in the U.S. for people to knit with their right hands. So to remember to teach that way. So I'm knitting one round, just knitting in all of those increases. Turning my work. Let's do that side. So the next round says knit one, make one. And I usually, unless it specifies what kind of make one, because there's make one left, make one right, but if it just says make one, I usually do a backwards loop, which is coming behind with the yarn and just sort of making a little loop there and pulling it tight. So there's my knit one, make one. And then we knit until there is one stitch left. There's one stitch left. And then make one, knit one. So I'm going to make one. And knit one. And now instead of four, I have six. So turn my work. And do the same thing to the second side. Knit one. Make one. Knit to one stitch left. Make one. If you want to do KFB, you're welcome to. And knit one. And there are six stitches on each needle now. And you can sort of see the point of the heart forming. And so what we do now is to keep repeating those two rounds, knitting one round, knit one, make one, knit until there's one stitch left, make one, knit one. Those two rounds until you have 14 stitches on each side. So I'm gonna do that and show you what happens next. Okay, so I have got 14 stitches on each needle now. You can see the sides are identical. And the pattern now says to knit three rounds plain. So I will do that. Okay, so I have knit three rounds plain with no increases. And the pattern now tells me to place seven stitches from the first needle on to a stitch holder or waist yarn and seven stitches on the back needle. So I'm going to turn that upside down. I've got my needle threaded here with extra yarn. I'm just going to slide those seven stitches off. So I've got half of it there. I'll 
to re-thread the other side. And then I'm going to grab the seven stitches on this end. So I'm just going to be working with the right half of this heart. And I'm going to ignore the left half for now. So the pattern says, after we've done that, to knit one round. So that means to knit that way and then turn it around and knit that way. So I'm going to get started on that and then I will show you the next round. Okay, so I have knit one round. I went that way and then I turned and then I went that way and turned the work back. And now we are going to slip, slip, knit, knit three, knit two together on each side. So slip, slip, knit looks like slip, slip this needle back into both of those. And then you knit them together, decreasing one. And then you knit three. And then knit two together. So now we've got five stitches there. Turn your work, do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now we've got five stitches on each side, on each needle, and we are going to slip, slip, knit, knit one, knit two together on each side. So slip, slip, knit. Knit one, knit two together. And now we have three stitches. You can sort of see the heart forming now. And then turn your work and do the same thing on the other side. Slip, slip. Knit, knit one, knit two together. Turn your work. Now we have half of a heart. So I am going to break the yarn. The pattern doesn't say to do this. I think that a lot of times patterns just imply that you you know what to do. Um, so you do need to break the yarn here. If you're not using a wool blend or alpaca or something like that, you are going to need to cut it. Okay, so we're going to graft these stitches. I'm going to put this back on this needle here. I always scoot these down to the tips. The yarn is coming from that stitch there, but we're going to go into this one first. So with grafting, you remember to go on this needle, knit off, purl on. On this needle, it's purl off, knit on. But when you set up, you skip the first step. So imaginary knit off and then really purl on. This is just the setup round. And then imaginary purl off 
and then railing it on. And then now we knit off row on. Make sure the yarn stays underneath these needles. If you loop it over, you're going to end up with a problem. And then purl off, knit on. And I'm saying purl off and knit on because that's how the needle is entering each stitch. I'm entering this as if to knit, knit off, entering this as if to purl, purl on. And then on the top one, entering as if to purl, purl off, entering as if to knit, knit on. And then the last two imaginary, the last two is knit off and then purl off. So that closes up the top of this one. You can see that it's pretty well closed there. So what I'm going to do is <clears throat> take that off and then move this out of the way. And I'm going to reattach seven stitches Per needle here. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And on the other side, the same thing. that hopefully it comes up nicely and so now we're ready to work the left side of this heart so we're going to grab our yarn and start with knit one round we go back because we've placed our um, our held stitches back on so we're going to knit one round and then we're going to slip slip knit knit three, knit two together. So I'm going to knit one round and I will come back for the decreasing. So I knit all of these stitches and now we're going to do the decreasing, which is slip, slip, knit, and then knit three, and then knit two together, and then we're going to do the same thing on the next side. That one looks loose. I think it's because that yarn that we joined needs a tug. There, that fixed it. So on this side, slip, slip, knit. Knit three. Knit two together. And then the next round we are going to do 
slip, slip, knit, knit one, knit two together. Okay, so now I have three stitches on the top and bottom needles. And I'm going to break my yarn again. Got tons of tails here, but those will come in handy in just a second. And I'm going to thread this needle and we are going to graft these six stitches together. So turn the work, make the work like that actually. <clears throat> because you want to always start with your yarn coming from the top needle there. So the setup goes purl on, knit on, and then knit off, purl on. Curl off, knit on. Knit off, curl on. Curl off, knit on. And then the last two. Knit off and curl off. So now we have a heart and lots of ends. So if you want to stuff this, you could, if you've got fiber fill or something like that, that would be, that would make it, you know, sort of like a little stuffy. You could thread these on to something and make, you could make a bunch of these and make garlands. I think that would be really cute. You could probably make a you have a little girl in your life, you could um, attach this to a barrette back and she could have a little heart in her hair. I might do that for my daughter actually. Um, so I'm going to start sewing these ends in and I will show you what this looks like after I've done all of that. I'm just gonna thread that needle and sort of start working it through these stitches here. So I've got all of these yarn tails here um, and I'm just going to sort of stuff them inside of this so that it's not so flat. It'll give it a little bit of a um, little bit of a shape, more of a 3D heart. How cute is that? That's adorable. And it didn't take too much time. This might be the longest video I've ever made, but so cute. So now we've got some hearts and I can make them in different colors and um, you could definitely spend, you know, an afternoon working on these and have little gifts to give away or whatever your heart desires. Thank you so much for joining me and knitting a little heart with me. These things are just so cute. Um, you know, if you wanted to felt these, you could. Um, before doing that, I would sew up that little hole in the top, tiny little hole, and just felt it if you know how to felt. And if not, maybe I will do a felting tutorial sometime. Um, it will shrink probably a third of the size, but it'll be more sturdy. Um, so that's fun. Have a happy Valentine's Day. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Um, I am wearing a sweater today that I knit myself, so I'll post info about that in the description box. So take care and knit on.